This is Sony Xperia Tech Reviews and this is full HD at 60 frames a second. How are you finding this? I see a little bit jerky at the sofa. This is with stability off. Pan shot. Full HD at 60 frames a second. Stability on. This looks a lot more jerky. Oh, very. Pan shot. These two tests were taken with the H.264 compression. Now switching to H.265. This is second series of tests. Full HD, 60 frames a second at um, 60 frames a second full HD, like I said, uh, with H.265 compression, stability off. HDR off. Not too bad. Pan shot. And the test. Full HD at 60 frames a second. Stability on H.265 and HD off, HDR off, but stability on. Mm. So, anything over 1080p HD and H HDR and 1080p normal at 30 frames, it seems there's a, a consistent issue. Stability on is worse than stability off. Now the question is, what we have to ask Sony is, why? Pan shot. Right, so I'm just going to give a little test with HDR. Now, as you recall, I've always tested with the main lens for uh, stability, and this time, this is the lens without uh, so-called um, uh, optical image stabilisation. This is just with electronic and nothing else. So let's have a look. This is H.265, no HDR. Look at this, this is the wide angle screen. This has, has no ROIS at all. Look at this, it's perfect. There's no judder at all for the same levels. Pan shot. So, conclusion. Optical image stabilization plus electronic image stabilization on the same lens equals failure. There you go. What else can I say? This is uh, this is Christopher signing off for the Sony Xperia Tech Reviews, the only uh, the only review sites and the only YouTube channels that tests Xperia phones properly. This is the final test. This is set on 60 frames a second. Stabilization on on the wide angle lens. Holding it with two hands now. Bear in mind this has no optical image stabilization. Only electronic. It is switched to on in this position. The last time on the last video it was switched to off. I forgot to mention that, I do apologise. We are now set to on on full HD 60 frames a second. The only difference why this is working 
and without any uh, serious stabilization or stuttering problems is there's one thing that's changed we're now no longer on the main lens the main lens has OIS plus EIS the uh, wide angle lens has EIS only which proves my point OIS plus EIS equals issues you can't have them both on the same lens this proves that OIS is interfering with EIS or vice versa and it's producing substandard results conclusion off we'll do a pan shot no issues so please remember my channel thoughts it's a Sony Xperia tech reviews and I am the only one who's discovered this and come to a conclusion that the main lens and the telephoto using OIS and EIS together is a re recipe for disaster I'm now holding it by one hand by the way the phone so if we have EIS only with no OIS on the lens as the wide angle does has no OIS but only EIS it works perfectly look at this wonderful not an issues and by the way <laughs> as you know I'm heavy footed and I'm actually bouncing up and down a little bit on my feet now beautiful why can't all sun and sun even lenses be like this so we've got a conclusion EIS with no OIS whatsoever behaves perfectly at 60 frames a second while it causes issues on the main lens and, um, and on the telephoto and thank you very much for bearing with me this has been an epic test and I hope to speak to you soon